kick things off by saying welcome to the OZ Wallet presentation. My name is Akil. I'm a core contributor here at OZ Wallet. And this is obviously my colleague, Stefan, who's going to be doing the majority of the presentation. I think it'd be quite easy for me to just jump into things, to talk about how seamless we are, how frictionless we are, the rewarding experience you get, um, and also how awesome the marketers are at OZ Wallet. But before we do that, I think the best thing to do would be to maybe go into what the state of play is today. It'll give you a good idea of what we're building, how we're building, and why we're building. And I swear, I hope I got those in order. Um, so the first thing that's, that's of note, oh, down here, wallets cater to DGENs, not new users. That's to say that wallets today are looking inherently inward in what they're creating. They're developing in a way that keeps on focusing on the 1% the of the 1% of the 1%, and they're not thinking about the next generation of users who are going to be coming into DeFi. Multi-chain wallets lack true multi-chain UX. That's to say, wallets are developing across multiple chains, but they're not creating an experience that allows you to fully utilize all those chains that you're on. Worse yet, chain tribalism blocks cross-chain discovery. When you're comfortable with one chain, you're using the solutions within it, but you're not exploring what's further afield, what's been tried and tested, what's been put, into such a, put to such a degree that you know that it's robust and that you can trust it. And the final thing, and this is something I'm actually quite passionate about, Web3's no crying at the casino ethos deters newcomers. And it raises two questions. One, why would anybody be crying? Why can't this be an experience that's positive for everyone that's involved? And why is this considered a casino? Why do we, and if we think about this as a, a speculative opportunity, as opposed to an opportunity for us to really rethink and reshape a financial paradigm? So, thank you. So this is putting a little bit of structure around the four things that we're going to be going into in the presentation today. And those four things are going to be security, ease of use, versatility, and improved functionality. This is the glorious part of the presentation where the marketer stops talking, and I hand it over to the adult in the room, Stefan, who's going to be taking you through the actual product. Stefan. Oh, thanks. <laughs> OK. I'm Stefan, I'm the product manager of OISI, and I will go through these four points that we mentioned before. I want to compare an application, uh, apologies for the cliche, but to a Swiss army knife. You want an army knife to be safe to use. You don't want to hurt yourself, you don't want to hurt others. You, wanna, you want it to be easy to use. Everyone can use it. If you see it for the first time, you immediately know how to use it. You can use it everywhere you want. You can go hiking, you can use it in your, in your tool shed, you can use it in the kitchen, you can use it out in the yard. It's, it's super versatile. And it offers you a lot of functionality. You can pinch, uh, if you have splinters, you can pinch them out, you can cut cheese, you can open a bottle of wine with it. The barbecue is, uh, or, the, or the picnic al fresco is ready. These four items you want to achieve. I want to focus first on the security, the safety, and the privacy aspect. The main word we want to achieve, and we, we do achieve already, is trustless. You don't need to trust in, your, in our application. Every single step that, is, uh, that, ha that happens before you actually use the application can be verified by you, if you have the necessary uh, technical skills. But there's a lot of people out there who have these skills. We have a bug bounty program ramping up, and if we have an issue in there, it will be found. And you can, you can almost more trust on that process that you have in the product. If you open an application, what you see here looks like OISI, but you cannot really be sure this is OISI, and is OISI really doing what it's pretending to do. The source code is open source. That means everyone can access the code and can see which, which versions are actually built, and if there is any harmful information in there or any harmful codes. The deployment process of the application, so uh, to finally reach your, your web browser, is also secured, which meaning if someone harmfully over the weekend deploys a fake version that transfers all the funds to, to his own wallet, this is not possible. The, the deployment process of OISI from the source code repository to the production server is protected through Orbit. You will hear later about Orbit, uh, the system. And it, it requires three approvals from product management and, and from the uh, technical side, where we ensure the build 
is actually the one that, that is intended there and the functionality covers what, what we need. So that's the, 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 the deployment process. When you sign up or, or uh, in the application, you don't, you don't need to provide any personal data. You have your... You, have to uh, you, you can provide a passkey and that's then all you need to access your account. We don't have your phone number, we don't need your email, we don't need your credit card. You are perfectly private um, as a person, as a user. The next point is the data that you see. Now you're in there, you have your wallet, you see your tokens that you own. How can you trust that what you see here is, is actually true? This is coming from multiple places. You, someone can sneak in. Data that we load, all your tokens, the ICRC transactions, your balances, it's all coming th through the IC, um, to the internet computer, through a consensus algorithm, which means there has been a majority of all involved parties agree on that this data is the correct data, and, and then we're going to display it. Before that, you cannot use it. The next point is a bit exposure. When you use a, a web application, you are exposing yourself to the internet really strongly because everything that's loaded from different sources uh, tells them who, who you are, where you are, what browser you have, and and what your IP address is. That's technically your computer address so they can find you. OIC does not make any calls to different web servers. That's why sometimes you might not see some images being loaded. That's not a bug, that's a security feature. We don't load images from sources that we don't trust. And the last point is when you log out, we don't leave any data on your browser. We actually clear it and it looks like pristine as you have accessed it before. And that's the first part about security. So you can really trust the system to work for you and pro protect you and keep your data private. The next point is the ease of use. I just want to say, if you look at it, you immediately understand what's going on. You have, you have your, your, your functionalities. Let's, let me quickly contact uh, one of the addresses. Let's say you want to send a token to one of your friends owe them something, you have a button that says send, you see a list of tokens, you probably, if you don't find it, you select your network, oh yeah, no, it's an internet computer token. You select it, you paste in your address you received somewhere, and oops, you get a warning about, hold on a second, you haven't used that address before, is it really the correct one? Then you realize, oh my God, that was a wrong email. Let's, let's delete it, check my contacts book, and then I see that I have my savings account, I have it saved. So I ha I'm sure now to use my correct address. You see your transaction, you can review your address, you see the amount and you can actually execute it. It will then be executed. That's done, it's sent. Also a bit helping in an ease of use is the fact that we offer a, a curated set of applications where you can browse through and say, oh, I want to do something about staking. Do we have some offers? You want to do some uh, swapping or, or any other type of um, DeFi transactions? We help you by offering a list. You can go and say, okay, what, what do I have here? You can read what the application does and then you can open it through the application. And of course, if really need be, we have an online documentation where you will find some additional things. That's the second part, the ease of use. Now, the versatility. It's all about you want to be able to use your wallet on almost all cases that happen. And one of the key features here is we need to support multiple networks. It's not just the internet computer or Bitcoin. It's not just Ethereum. We're also now supporting seven chains and more to come. For developers, I'm surely interesting. Uh, if you, we also support test nets for, for all of those main nets. You can work against using your test tokens without risking losing any of your funds. And you can, tempor you can permanently um, disable them, so you will, if you don't need them, then you don't have to go through them every time. The same is for the tokens. You see I don't have all too many tokens, but I filter by zero if I going to show all my tokens. We have a larger list of predefined tokens. If that's not enough, we offer you, let's go uh, typically Ethereum, 
we have a, we have a curated list also of trustworthy tokens. If you really have some contracts on tokens that are not in the system, you can simply in, enter them. You select uh, it's a Solana token, you enter the address, and that's it. For those who uh, actually want to enter additional tokens. And of course, you can also work with all those networks. We, we use Sino standard. That means all the internet computer applications can connect to OISI. If they execute some transactions on your funds, you are required to give consent within OISI. So we don't give a delegation, we don't give the application the rights to access your funds directly. You have to confirm everything. The same is using then Wallet Connect for the for the Ethereum-based um, world, where you or, or also Solana, where you can connect, and then every transaction needs to be confirmed if you want to use Pancake Swap or Quick Swap or or One Inch. You can just if you are on One Inch, you just go. You can say Wallet Connect, and if you try to find your your wallet, you just go Oisy, and you should find it, and then you can it 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 connects you. Good. That's the versatility. So you, you can probably uh, go with, with, with one earnings wallet and you don't need to have five or six just to support your needs to browse, to work on different platforms. The last one is functionality. Running short, uh, we offer all the basic functionality in the wallet that's, uh, that you need to actually start working with it. We, you don't need to know all the dApps and connect and how to work with it. You can on-ramp your tokens or buy your tokens directly using our, our plugin we have here. You can swap your tokens. We are integrated directly with, with uh, KongSwap. You can just ask for an offer. Let's go. Give you an offer. You say that's fine. You review it and, and the trade is done. And now you would, if you would, if you go in the token, you would actually see the, the transaction coming in. We have a privacy mode in case you're on the train. You can hide all your valuable assets from your neighbors to actually see how much you have. Of course, we have a night mode. We just release now a, a new address book where you can store multiple addresses, contacts in a way that you are used to in your on your on your iPhone, you typically or on your computer. And I give back to Akil. <laughs> wow, no, uh, no pressure. Sounds like you got a better, uh, better, better clap than I did. That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> yeah. um, so I guess in the the brief minute and a half that we have left, I'm going to speak relatively quickly, but I feel like you guys will forgive it because I'm about to share a little bit of alpha with you. If you're one of the ones that's chatting in the back and not paying attention, sucks for you. You're going to be missing out on some some pretty good information. So as we stand right now, um, we're, there's a few things that we're pleased to announce now, and there's a few things that we might, may have leaned into and said are going to be coming down the pipeline, but I'm not going to go into them. The first one is multi-chain swaps. As we stand right now, we've built the wallet to exist across multiple chains. However, making it seamless for you to, to work in between those chains is something that we want to crack. So if you're on chain A and you want to get, go to chain B, chain X to chain Y, we make that possible for you. That's only the first step. The next step is something that I'm pleased to announce, which is going to be Oisy Earn. So up until now, you guys have all enjoyed sprinkles. You've had a rewarding experience from using the product. Again, just to reemphasize, seamless to use and a rewarding experience. But something that we want to allow to happen is for you to swap from chain A to chain B, knowing that chain B has yield that you're able to take advantage of. You shouldn't need to be fluent in chain B. You should be able to take advantage of opportunities within another chain without having to be fluent in that chain itself. So it's something that we want to offer to you. In the beginning, it's going to be around stables. And I know somebody is going to hang me for saying this, but I'm hoping to hit somewhere around 6% in terms of the yield that you're, you're getting. The final thing, we only have 16 seconds left, is the elephant in the room. We're going to be having NFTs that are going to be coming shortly. Yeah. So you'll all be able to enjoy that. Final thought in the six seconds that I have left, Ooh. we have, and I promise I wouldn't swear, but I'm just going to do it. Sorry, guys. We have a badass community. We want you to join it. We want you to join our community. We want you to follow us on Twitter. We want you to join our Discord. We want you to keep us honest. Call us out. Let us know what you're looking for. We're only as good as the people that support us and the people that are helping us define our journey. And if each and every one of you could join that journey, it would make us an exceptionally amazing product. Thank you so much. Ooh.